All right, I've got an update for uh, edit mode um, for Profi OS. Um, so there's still a lot uh, to do on this, uh, still a lot of development, but basically um, I've now got the revert functions all working with Frederick's help. Um, so the idea with edit mode, if you haven't seen the longer video, definitely check it out, um, is that you're gonna be able to edit your style, your color, your font, your track, um, as well as volume, and a few other things um, if I get them working, um, all from your blade. Um, so it uses what's already loaded on the Sabre. So you do have to have, you will load your config up as normal, um, but if you have edit mode active, um, and it will be an option, I think, um, it, what it does is it allows you to make changes. So you can change the style, change the color, um, uh, change the font, change the track, all just from the Sabre. Um, and in particular, styles, they're going to be what's you already loaded. So if you loaded 20 styles onto your original um, upload when you go into edit mode those 20 styles are available to you to use and mix and match on any of the presets uh, that you build um, so a lot to cover so th this will be a little bit shorter video just going more over the revert functions um, but so to go into edit mode it'll be a long hold on both aux and power and it gets drowned out but it says edit mode and your blade ignites but now you're in edit mode let me change this angle here so now as I turn so the controls in edit mode is turning will advance through the options so that was edit color so edit styles first edit color edit font edit track edit the volume copy presets you can make as many copies as you want you can also delete if you want um, and then it goes back, uh, you can exit, edit style. and you can edit the style. Now with editing style, so um, so ed there's a bunch of sub-menus, but in any menu, turning changes the option, power accepts, um, confirms, or saves. So we're, gonna, so we're in style, so we'll press the power button. So that goes in. So now each turn will actually advance through all of these styles that are already on this saber. So I can keep changing. It'll be easier if it's lower so you can see the reflection. But I'm going to have all of my available styles that I can go through. And what I wanted to do is now, in this menu, if you wanted to save a style, so if you get to a style you like, you would press power. That'll save it. If you happen to want to go back to the original, before you save, you can hit the aux button now, and that will revert to your original style. So... So now, because there's two blades on here, it reverted that first one, and now it's going to look for the second one. So the second one's the accent, and it'll let me, uh, I can choose to change that, or I can press, uh, so I can change it here, and it's hard to see because it's kind of small on camera, but it changes those styles. And again, if I don't, if I like what I see, I press power to save it. If I want to go back to what was originally saved, I press and that reverts it. So within each menu, um, you can revert now. Oops. Uh, you can revert um, to what was previously saved. And what that means is, if I went in and changed something and hit save, and then I go in and try to change it again, it's going to go back one version. Um, and that's for the style. That's going to be for the color. Uh, that's going to be for the font and the track. So I can show you the uh, the color. So let's get let's get to color. So we'll do edit color, and this uses color change mode, so this is the color wheel, so I can get to something I like. Now, if I don't like what I get to, and I want to go back, um, and this has color zoom, um, but if I want to go back to the original color, instead of uh, holding power or pressing power, I just click aux, and it goes back to the previously saved. Now, if I had saved a different color, so I'll show you again, so we'll go into color change again. And now we'll just change it. Let's get to we'll get to a red using color zoom. So hold the zoom button. Get that red a little bit more dialed in. There's a nice there's a nice red. So now that's saved. So let's go back to color. And we'll turn it to something totally different. Now say I want to go back to that red. The red was the last saved. I'll press aux. And it goes back to that. And if you so if you save a color, revert goes back to the previously saved. Um, and that's for everything. Um, oops, I didn't want to go back in there. 
Uh, actually, uh, I'll leave it. All right, so now I'm going to go up a level. So editing font will be the same thing. So we'll go, so I'm in edit font. I press power to edit the font. And it's going to look for every font on my SD. They don't have to be, the fonts and the tracks, they just have to be properly formatted on your SD. They don't have to be previously listed in your config. So if I go through all these, but uh, and I like the font that I have, I would press power to save it. If I don't like the options, I want to go back to what was previously saved again. I'll press aux, and it goes back to that original font. Um, and then tracks as well. So we'll go into edit track, press power to go in. And it's going to play the currently saved track. And if I turn, it'll change the track. And if I like the track, I would press power to save it. But if I want to just go back to the previously saved track again, I'll press aux. And it's, it goes back now. The track we don't play again. Um, I can actually change that. But it, right now it just stops the track. Um, but now that's save. Edit volume is straightforward. So you edit your volume. Um, copy, preset. copy preset, delete preset. I show those in the other video. Um, so I'm going to exit. So now I'm out of that uh, editing mode. Um, but so the, the nice thing now with the revert... Um, and again, at every menu, so each, uh, the top level and all the submenus, um, the aux button reverts to previously saved. So it lets you kind of go in and play with a bunch of stuff, but if you happen to not like the end result and like what you had originally now, um, instead of saving it, you press revert and it goes back. Um, but it only reverts to the previously saved version. Um, so if you make changes and save them, then you can't go back um, two versions, essentially. Um, so, but uh, another new piece of the edit menu is now working properly um, as well as I tweaked a few of the uh, the sounds and stuff like that um, but still a lot to do um, there's still a few pieces I'm hoping to chase down um, but it's uh, it's all working great and of course big thanks to Frederick I couldn't have gotten here uh, without his help and all the stuff he's uh, contributed uh, to make this possible but uh, really excited about it um, but now all of the revert functions are operating properly so just wanted to share. So a lot more to come um, as, a, as the updates are available. I'll do more videos. Thanks. Have a good one.